Utility bills looked higher this season, which led more Granite Staters to ask for help. Like years past, people in need of assistance could apply for the federally subsidized Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program known as LIHEAP. That federal program has an income eligibility requirement, but with energy prices so high, the state offered two of its own assistance programs for fuel and energy. Those were available to anyone making between 60 and 75 percent of the state's median income, which allowed more people to apply for help. Southern New Hampshire Services is a community action program and connects people to the money. It saw a 45 percent increase for fuel and energy assistance, saying it processed 3,000 more applicants this year over last. Because of the high demand, the Department of Energy says there has been a small backlog when it comes to getting applications processed. Because the state fuel and energy program was new this year, the CAP programs needed to get policies, documents, and software in place. With that in mind, Southern New Hampshire Services says it was impressed with how fast it was able to get payments out for the new program. And there are community action programs in all regions of the state that help connect people to programs like this. If you're interested in learning more or want to know which one is closest to you, you can head to our website. Live in Portsmouth, Kelly O'Brien, WMUR News 9.